Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to check the Helination Tani Telon, the first 16x16mm stack that features an F7 flight controller and a BLL32 4-in-1 ESC. In this video I'm going to go over its features and specs and show you how to set it up and on a separate video which hopefully is going to be out soon I'm going to test it out along with the new Ishii Nano V2 video transmitter. In terms of packaging, inside the box along with the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC you can find two 8cm long 18 gauge battery leads, a 4cm long 7 pins harness for connecting the flight controller and the 4-in-1 ESC, a bag with M2 standoffs, screws, nuts and silicon grommets, and a 25 volt 220 microfarad capacitor. In terms of specs, this tiny flight controller came pre-flashed with Betaflight 4.1.1. It features an F7 processor, two full UART ports for connecting your accessories, and a TX port for setting up your VTX using TBS Smart Audio or IRC Trump protocol, an MPU 6000 gyro chip, and a 5V 1.5A BC for powering up your video transmitter, FPV camera, and radio receiver. As for the 4-in-1 BLA32 ESC, it can handle a constant current of 15 amperes with a burst current of 20 amperes. It features a current sensor and on its top side you can find pretty big and well separated pads for the motors. And on its bottom you can find the battery pads which are also well separated from each other. In addition, both flight controller and 4-in-1 ESC are using 16 by 16 mm M2 mounting holes and can be powered directly with up to 4S batteries. The weight of the flight controller is 2.1 grams, along with the 4-in-1 ESC it weighs 5.4 grams and all together with the harness and the included capacitor the total weight is 6.7 grams. The outer dimensions of the flight controller are 20.9 by 20.9 by 5.9 mm and the outer dimensions of the 4-in-1 ESC are 21 by 29.2 by 5.5 mm. Now I'm going to show you how to install and configure the tiny talon stack on the Flexa C Ninja 3 inch frame. The first thing that you need to do is to install the 4 in 1 ESC and you should pay attention to its orientation. Then, after soldering the battery connector and the included capacitor to the battery pads, solder the motor wires to the motor pads, connect the flight controller to the FEB camera, radio receiver, and the video transmitter, and after flashing the flight controller with the latest available version of Betaflight and making sure that everything is working properly, you can wrap up your new build. Now let's go over the configuration of the flight controller on Betaflight. First, under the port stub, the serial RX switch is enabled on UART 5 and under peripherals, the VTX IRC trunk protocol is set on UART 3. Under the configuration tab, I enabled the bidirectional dish shot switch in order to use Betaflight's RPM filter and you can still see that even though the EC slash motor protocol is set to dish shot 600 and the gyro and PID loop frequency are set to 8kHz, the CPU load is very low since this is a very powerful flight controller. Under power and battery, I set the battery scale to 162 as the default values were not correct. Then after binding the FR Sky Arc sub receiver with my radio transmitter and making sure that everything is working properly, I set the flight modes, configured the OSD elements and set the VTX table. Now we need to determine the direction of each motor and adjust it accordingly. In order to do that, head over to the motor stub on beta flight. Make sure that no propellers are attached, plug in a battery, confirm that you understand the risks and check the direction of each motor. I needed to reverse the direction of motors number 2, 3 and 4 and for that I've used the BLL32 Android app which I also used in order to update the firmware of the 4-in-1 ESC. Now as you can see my new build is complete and as it seems like an interesting setup I'm looking forward to testing it out so stay tuned for the upcoming flight footage. As always, I thank you for watching my video, I hope you enjoyed it and you find it useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them in the comments section down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you in my next videos and goodbye.